Welcome to Mark's Tech Talk. Today we're going to figure out the voltage across a component in an AC circuit using voltage divider, the AC version of voltage divider. In order to see how this works, we're going to first recap uh, how do we use voltage divider in a DC circuit. So here we have a series circuit, uh, voltage source 18 volts, and we want to find the voltage across the second resistor. So all we do is say the voltage across the second resistor, we'll call that V2, is equal to the source voltage multiplied by the second resistor divided by the sum of all three resistors. Uh, so in this case, that would be 18 volts multiplied by 200 ohms divided by the sum of the resistors, and we will get a value of 6 volts. So it turns out the AC version of this is almost identical, except in place of R, we're going to use Z. So we have three Z's in series. In order to find the voltage across the second one, it would be the source voltage multiplied by the second Z divided by the sum of all the Z's. And of course, you'd do the same thing uh, if you wanted the other voltages also, just substituting in uh, Z1 or Z3, if that's the ones you want to look for. So how do we apply that in actual circuit? Let's look at this circuit where we have a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor all in series. And we want to find the voltage across the capacitor. So uh, first thing we have to do is to convert the uh, capacitance and inductance into reactance. So uh, find X of C and X of L. And you should know at this point X of C is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. If you crank those numbers out, you should get 531 ohms. X of C is 531 ohms. We're going to put that aside uh, and we'll use that in just a minute. Next, we'll find X of L. X of L is equal to 2 pi FL. Plug our numbers in, and X of L is 283, 283 ohms. So we're also going to put that aside, uh, and now we can actually start solving the problem. Find VC. Well, VC is equal to the source voltage multiplied by the Z of the capacitor divided by the total Zs, all the Zs added together. So that looks like this, 18 angle 0. A Z of the capacitor is 0 minus J, 531. And the uh, total of the other Zs, the resistor again is 1K plus J0. The capacitor we just saw is 0 minus J, 531. And the inductor is 0 plus J, 283. And if you enter that in your calculator, uh, calculator should give you 9.28 volts and angle of negative 76.1. 9.28 volts, angle negative 76.1. Uh, just for fun, I didn't ask you this initially, but let's just try finding the voltage across the resistor. Uh, voltage across the resistor, very similar to what we did a moment ago, excepting in the numerator, we're going to put ZR instead of ZC. Uh, so everything else looks pretty much the same. The numerator now is 1K plus J0. And now we do the arithmetic and you get 17.5, angle 13.9 volts. 17.5 volts at an angle of 13.9. Let's, uh, why not do the last component now? That is the inductor. So let's find the voltage across the inductor. Again, very similar process, but we're using uh, the inductance um, uh, impedance, uh, Z sub L, in the numerator. And Z sub L is 0 plus J, 283. I'll do our arithmetic. This time we get a V sub L of 4.95, angle 103.9. 4.95 volts and angle of 103.9. Now what we can do is we can take all those voltages and add them up. And you remember using Kirchhoff's voltage law, all the voltages should add up to 0. I just took the source voltage and put it on the other side of the equation and said so the source is equal to the drops across the three impedances. And uh, if I do that, I've got to uh, use complex form of the voltage. So I've got to include the angles, 17.5, angle 13.9, that's the uh, voltage across the resistor. Voltage across the capacitor, 9.26, angle negative 76.1, and the inductance uh, has a voltage of 4.95 and angle of 103.9. Add those up in your calculator and you should get 18.0 or something very, very close to that. So you're going to see that the 
uh, sum of the voltage drops is approximately equal to the source voltage. And if it's not exactly equal, it's just because of a little bit of rounding error. Uh, in fact, the Kirchhoff's voltage law does in fact work here uh, if you don't have any rounding error. So we're in good shape here. Everything checks out. Uh, so we must have did everything correctly. So hope you enjoyed watching this edition of Mark's Tech Talk. Tune in for more.